So we just docked in Cozumel and it's very early. It's 7 in the morning, 7 a.m. in the morning, as Carrie would say. <laughs> because we have an excursion. We have Jeep Adventure to Punta Sur National Park. Yes, yeah, so we're driving our own Jeep. There's four seats in the Jeep. There's four of us. Um, if the Jeep is automatic, I will be driving. If it's manual, I'm going to let my dad take over and do the driving because I don't know how to drive manual. But Which we'll is bad for our amazing race tape. We shouldn't yeah. tell Phil that. Yeah, Phil, we can do whatever. But I mean, you would think in 2023, the Jeep has got to be automatic, you would think. We rented a Jeep in Aruba before. Yeah, I kind of expect this to be like that. But that was like, we rented it on our own. This is part of an excursion and I think it's just gonna be a bunch of Jeeps in a line, you know, a guided tour. Here's our tickets. Here's the official name is Jeep Adventure to Punta Sur National Park. It's looking a lot less seaweedy today in the ocean, oh. which I appreciate. Yeah. Okay, here's our Jeep. We have a little cool little logo on it. We're gonna be the first one after the tour guide. Oh, it's already running. If it's running, you better go catch it. <laughs> I got my espresso frappuccino. That's all you need in my... And a full tank. The tank is full oh, this time. That's good. I'm glad you chose. But I mean, it's not like... We don't have anything to worry about because we're following someone, so... Yeah. But it's good that we have four people in our group because if you don't have four, they pair you with strangers. other people, strangers, so... Stranger danger. Yeah, we have a, the right amount of people. Yeah. Okay, the Jeep in front of okay. us is a tour guide. The brakes are not the best. <laughs> well, I, it's good you know that. Now I can adjust for it. Yeah. I do like driving a Jeep though. I like it's being number on. two, like like the tour guide's the one in front I know, and then yeah, it's yeah, us. Yeah. Yep. I do kind of wish that we had that blue car. Yeah. It's crazy that they just stick us in these cars and they like, don't give us a map, no GPS. We're just following the guy in front of us. So we're heading to the Punta Sur National Park. That's where we're doing all of our sightseeing and stops. So first we're doing- I think it's at a small Mayan ruin. Yeah, and then we're going to a beach and then we're going to a lighthouse, maybe some other stuff. I think he said we're snorkeling. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff included in this excursion. So we've arrived at the National Park. There are signs for, uh, alligator and iguana crossing so that's a little scary but there was a dog when we first arrived and we ran him over oh no we adopted him and we're bringing him home this is the first time we've needed to be in a jeep well not even really because it's just been normal roads so far yeah but this is starting to look more like our aruba jeep adventure with all of the foliage yeah and then right to the left is the oh, beautiful goodness. water. Oh I still I see the seaweed. It's everywhere. Yeah, you're right. But I see the lighthouse. Eventually we're getting to that lighthouse. This is very pretty. There's lots of people ahead of us. There's a, a Jeep tour that beat us here. I can't even imagine. We left so early. Yeah. It's like how did these people get here before us? Yeah. Okay, I think that's the the pocket sized ruin. That's what he called it. He did. I think we're gonna get out here and look at it. Looks like we found some sort of animal near our stop. Is that an ant eater? No. A red panda? No. What is it? It's like a rat. Oh. It's in the rat family. Just like comet. Oh, Jesus, do you oh see it? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. How sturdy is this bridge? <laughs> this is the crocodile marsh, I guess, right? Look at him go. We got these things at home. Yeah. That, that is a, you know, a croc instead of an alligator. Is though. it? I think so. I keep saying alligator. The, the bridge is very flimsy. Like, yeah. They, As we walk over the like, croc. It's probably not safe. Fishy. Like, they could literally jump onto this. They say alligators at least are very good climbers. Okay, we're going to go up this um, very well constructed tower here. In Orlando, there's a place Crocodile called zone. Gatorland. Oh, oh yeah. And obviously it's alligators, not crocodiles, but it, it looks just as well constructed as this in oh Gatorland. God. No, it's better. <gasps> Flamingo. Oh, Do you wow. see him? Yeah. Flamingo. Isn't he beautiful? We parked like right there. 
look at the water. That's where we saw the Looks crocodile. Kind of the, belts are the ruin is like behind that building. The There's water. the lighthouse. Okay, so we just left the swamp crocodile area. Something I didn't notice before we walked in there is there's a sign before you go into the crocodile zone that says emergency 911. <laughs> That's <laughs> for like, no reason at all. Those two things are completely unrelated. Isn't that kind of scary though? It it's like before scary. you go into the crocodile zone. Here I also I didn't like that on the way in we saw the crocodile and on the way out he's gone. He's gone. Where is he? He's gonna come get me. Yeah. Right, so we made our way to the little Mayan ruin, ancient ruin. Uh, with some ancient technology. <laughs> it's a perfect door size for me. Pocket size. So very, very small. The Mayan ruin is actually really cool. It's basically a lighthouse and a hurricane alarm system where, um, like an ancient lighthouse where they would put fire. fire there and then so they could see like where Cosmel was by looking at the smoke. And, and then, then the wind from the hurricane would yeah. go like around the building and blow out conches. Yeah. So it's like, like sound and alarm. Like a wind alarm system. Okay, we're on to our next stop. Um, that was a cool stop though because we saw a wild flamingo and a wild crocodile, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a wild version of either of those. Like I think in um, zoos or aquariums or something I've seen. Yeah, of course, yeah never out in the wild yeah so now i think we're going to the beach now to do snorkeling and then i think the lighthouse will be after that yeah but look at this this is pretty cool there's the lighthouse straight ahead i think he said we can climb to the top of it yeah okay i found the beach it's here and there's actually a restaurant here which is crazy because it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere more chips and salsa for me we made it to the beach it's actually a really nice beach it's there's, gorgeous there's no seaweed and we get to sit in these chairs for free this is included this is a really nice area they have a, the restaurant and the bathrooms the water looks really clear and then way out there we have a royal caribbean ship i'm not sure which one it is i'm gonna see if i can find out so what do you think about snorkeling do you want to do it <laughs> I feel kind of tired, honestly. I feel tired, and then like I haven't like properly warmed up. Like my, my I'm not yeah. super warm, and so I don't want to like go jump in the water. Yeah. But I think it's really pretty here. It's a nice beach to like relax on. Yep. And then I feel like once we warm up, once I eat my chicken quesadilla, then I can go swimming. Yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying to figure out what ship that is because it's definitely a Royal Caribbean ship, and it's definitely moving. It looks on the smaller side. I know. Okay, I got my cruise mapper app working. It is Radiance of the Seas. Okay, Carrie's gonna test the water. See how cold it is. We've heard from Brian's parents. <laughs> that is cold. That's pretty cold. What am I in Alaska? No. I'm is it really cold? It's not like that cold, but it is cold. Now our best snorkeling, snorkeling that we've ever had was in Cozumel. That's true. Yeah. I think I could get used to it. Like I'm not I'm just, like, I'm not like yee. I'm just feeling kind of lazy. Me too. Okay, the senorita got uh... No, no, no. The beautiful senorita. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> has got her beautiful chicken quesadillas. And of course my shadow just ruins everything. It's um, specialty lighting. Yeah. Take a bite, one bite. Tell me how it is. It looks really good. Mm. Oh yeah. This is a nice beach area. It really is. Compare it to yesterday. Yeah. It's amazing that there's no seaweed right here. I wonder if they cleared it or something. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> he, wants <to> he wants the espresso frappuccino. Okay, now he's, he's stuck. He's just hungry. He's just hungry. <laughs> oh, that's how he rolls his quesadilla. <laughs> he's going for more. Okay, what do we do? I don't know. Probably has rabies. Yeah, and I feel like if you pick up the food, like, oh my God, babe, stop, stop it. Well, he's well, our I'm pet now. I think I'm just gonna go back oh to sleep. God. 
I was literally asleep right here. I can't. What do we do? I mean, we don't, he finishes eating and then he'll go to the next chair. It's just beans. And chicken. And chicken. And tortillas. <laughs> and Starbucks. He likes his tortilla. They say to put an obstacle on their dish so that they eat slower. Like and that's what I did with the Powerade. Well, that's yeah, that's what we do with Comet. We, you know, make sure that she doesn't eat too quickly so there's an obstacle in her, her bowl. Right. Like a tennis ball or something. And that's what we did here. Because <laughs> I put the Powerade on because I knew that the raccoon was coming. And you knew he likes to eat quickly. He's not And I didn't want him to throw up. He's not afraid of humans at all. Not at all. Do you think he'll go for guac next? I don't know. He's not interested in the guac. No, neither am I. <laughs> He's allergic. They said this was a pygmy raccoon, right? Sure, they, they Pick, like a pygmy girl. <laughs> <laughs> they said this was like a smaller um, like breed of um, raccoon. No, please oh, no. no. Okay. That's where he crosses the line. <laughs> Please don't get any sand in my sneakers, sir. See, he's on to the next okay. victim. I hope you had a good he time. He looks full the way he's walking. <laughs> yeah. I hope he just goes and like lays down in the shade now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he, you know, made me part of the clean plate club. Oh, true. Okay, time for me to lay back down and go to sleep. I feel so scared. I literally like woke up to carry screaming because he was on your parents lounger I was, like, I was like do i really need what do, I, do i need to open my eyes for this what is this okay he's he's leaving okay now the birds are here what is this the alfred hitchcock movie <laughs> okay back to bed good night brian let's take a tour through carrie's sunscreen bag there's some weird items that just need to be discussed i've never seen before okay this was this a recommendation is... by Kitra and Peter. Yeah. This one scares me. So this is, I don't even know what to do here. This is a makeup brush, but it's not, it's sunscreen. You gotta put the little white top down. How do I do that? You just, I just, oh, yeah, like that. you go like that. So it's like powder. And then, then how do I apply this to my face? So first you kind of are supposed to dip it on the back of your hand until powder starts coming oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah, on the back, no, the back of your hand, yeah. I just sprayed a different type of sunscreen on the, okay. So, if powder comes out, no, actually touch your hand. Is powder coming out? Oh, I see the powder now. Okay, good. That? So then you're supposed to put it on your face. Okay, do you see that, you see it? It's so now of... I put it on my face? Yeah, because now the brush is... Now I have very... <laughs> I feel like I'm sweaty so this doesn't work. I have very sensitive skin. I have rosacea and a lot of other skin issues. So he sees my, a dermatologist. My dermatologist is like, if you do not use mineral sunscreen, I will find you and shoot you. That's what her words, not mine. <laughs> so this is mineral translucent. And then the other thing with mineral is like has to be SPF 50 plus. Oh, but well, the other thing is it makes your face white. So that's why it carries other sunscreen is good. So I just do this and then I just do this and this is the sunscreen. We're constantly on a hunt I, I got, for a this good is a sunscreen. Question. Yeah, that's, yeah, it, you, I can see the powder going all over you. In a good way. It's kind of fun to do this. Yeah. This is actually easier than like... I like this one a lot for like when you're out like this. Yeah. Because I don't want to put lotion on my face after I've been sweating. I don't want to like rub my hands all over my sweaty face. I feel like a powder yeah. is much better because it kind of like absorbs the sweat a little bit. Now, do I get my glasses area? I'm going to have raccoon you eyes. Know. Get it? Raccoon eyes. <laughs> raccoon eyes. <laughs> that's enough of that. Okay, that's enough of that. That's kind of cool. It is. Now, I don't know if it works. I've never, this is my first time using that, so this is a face mist. I'm not gonna. Should I do this right now? I just did it. Do you want me to do it? It's so this is not mineral, so I can't use this. That's the thing. But it's non comedogenic, which is something that some of our other stuff isn't. Non comedogenic means that it won't clog your pores, like it won't give you acne. Well, my my dermatologist says otherwise. This this is the funniest thing. This is a bottle of Evian water in aerosol form. It's a it's a facial spray. Why do I have it? I don't know. Why do you have it? You don't know? Okay, so we recently went to Disneyland and we went on an airplane ride and that airplane ride took like six hours and my face was the driest it's ever been in my entire life and airplanes just suck the life out of it, out of you. But so, so if it's hot, then you just, you know, I've done this before and it's fun spraying water in your face like this. <laughs> the wind just completely took it the other way. 
You know what's funny is this is what they were spraying in hairspray, the yeah. musical, yeah. like like condensed or what's water. It's, it's condensed water. air it's like or water. Prop, prop hairspray, you know. Yeah. It's just going not on you at all. It's fun though. There you go. That's fun. Yeah. No, all of your powdered sunscreen is just completely ruined. Oh, is it really? I don't know. Speaking of hairspray, so we were talking about um, the seaweed. The main, one of the main characters' name is Seaweed, right? Uh, yeah. It's kind of funny. There's no seaweed here. Like, we were driving by huge piles of um, seaweed. Seaweed. And, like, literally, like, we had the windows down, and it comes in and it burns your eyes. It burns your eyes, it goes in your it's throat, like, it comes into your nose, it smells so that's, bad, that's it makes. Why it, it's seaweed season that's what they're saying so that's it's not like this all the time but that's why we keep talking about it because it is like very prevalent in our experience here have we talked about what time of year it is everybody it's always march. asks it's that it's the beginning of march so. march march madness march <laughs> seaweed madness that's what that's about right i guess so and the last one is boring oh. yeah this is boring I but think. it's my favorite kind of sunscreen because it doesn't go on white it just sprays on you don't have to like rub it in really this is see like now my legs i don't have to worry about you know the skin on my legs that's fine it's only my face that's very sensitive so i'll, I'll spray anything on my legs <laughs> even though this is like very expensive like what was this like 20 dollars a bottle i don't know i just i just fork it over to jeff bezos <laughs> <laughs> and yes i'm wearing shoes on the beach and not I, even like sandals, it's like sneakers. I have, wait, did I even bring my flip flops? I don't think I don't I did. think you did. Uh, whatever, because I don't like driving in uh, flip flops. Yeah, I get that. Someone's doing body shots over there. Oh, they're doing a tequila tasting over there. That's why we're in here. That's why we're over here talking about sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> we're off again. We are going to the lighthouse now, and that'll be our last stop before we go back to the ship. Now we're in the back of the pack. Yeah, which, you know, is maybe more fun. No. No? All right. Okay, we made it to our last stop. This is the lighthouse. As you can see, there's people all the way up there. Do you want to walk? Or do you want to go all the way up? I like do and I don't. They said it's like a hundred something Let's steps. do it. Okay, if I die, it's Brian's fault. Maximum occupancy, eight. We don't even know how many people. I have no idea how many people. I feel like probably more than eight. And then I think it's... This is probably, okay, yeah, 133 steps. Let's do it. Don't enter with... Ailments. <laughs> Ascendo. That's like Harry Potter. This is, this is a tight squeeze. This scares me. Are you going to count the whole way so you know no. how far? Oh, there's like these little windows and there's like a breeze and it feels so good. Do you feel 23, that? 24. Oh my God. We're halfway. We're at 78. This is really tough. I can see the beach. Oh my god. 103. Okay, I made it up. There's Carrie. Look, <laughs> the lamp is huge. It's crazy. You gotta get through this little hole to get out. 134 is what I got to. Oh my god. Wow. It's pretty. There, there's our Jeep. Wow. Wow. There's the crocodile. Yeah, oh, the crocodile was like way down there. It's crazy, like we swam in like that water and then like the crocodile water is right over there. Yeah, you're right. Wow, it looks really neat up here. You can see how big the national park really is. Look how blue the water is. Yeah. Do you think that's also a Mayan river? I don't know. This thing is, is actually swaying a little bit. Yeah, I'm not in love with how many people are in this. When we entered, it said eight per person maximum. Eight? Yeah, I think there's a little more than eight. Yep. Yeah. There's eight up at the yeah. Yeah. That's the road we were on, and that's the beach we were on way down there. Looks like this is like the light switch for it. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be hard going down. All right. This step is like partially broken. I thought it would never end. Yeah. I felt like you just kept going round and round and round. It's like this is like a maze in some sort of hellscape. That was actually kind of difficult. I just want to go back in the car and get some AC. Speed. My legs hurt. Like right here. I know, yeah. I know that those muscles existed, but they do and it hurts. Yeah. Okay, we're going to cool off and then we're going to head back. It's like a 30, 40 minute drive. Yeah. Back to port. Think about what's for lunch. Yeah. I think I want to get back on the ship and just chill out and eat. 
We made it back to port and there is Radiance right there, just like we saw when we were at our beach. It looks like it could park inside a garage in our ship. It could literally fit inside the boardwalk there. And you can see all the crown lofts in the crown of the ship. Like I could tell it was a Royal Caribbean ship just by like, you know, like the shape of it with like the crown and everything at the top. This is the first time I've heard he was talking about like the crown at the top. And I've never really noticed that that exists before. What do they call it? Like the the Viking? Wait, what do they call it? The Crown Lounge? Viking Crown Lounge? What Viking is, is definitely the not stuff. a <laughs> Crown and Anchor but, Lounge. Oh, there's there's normally a lounge at the top. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, someone's hat died. Oh yeah, yeah. There's always that bar at the top that like looks down over the pool deck. Not always, but you know most of the time. Should we dive in and get the hat? So you see the GTV. On Radiance, we were like, what is the GTV? Carrie was like, what's GTV? And then I was like, oh, it's gangsta television, but it's not. It's actually um, gas turbine vessel. What does that even mean? I'll tell you right now. It's a environmentally conscious approach to the ship's propulsion. Wow. So, I guess- But all the new ships are being made with something yeah. else. Now it's like LNG, but I guess they wanted to show that on the side of the ship for some reason when Radiance came out. I don't know why. Yeah, it's gas turbine vessel. Wow. So now you know. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, what you got? Chicken tenders, Italian chicken, I think barbecue pulled pork. I just huh. got it. I don't really know what it is. French fries, some sort of beef, a carrot pound cake. Did I get enough? <laughs> I got chicken tenders and fries and a barbecue burger that's disassembled right now, but I will assemble it. And we're looking down on Radiance, and it looks really cool. Does it? And people are playing shuffleboard. Have we seen this one in port before? I feel like we have, we've seen the, the bridge. I don't know. You really have to look down to see Radiance. <laughs> After I already filled up my plate, I saw pasta at the very end. We made it back to our room. I am exhausted. I don't know why. I think we got up too early. That's why. Me too. But like, we also kind of were out in the sun. That takes it out of you. So. Yeah. But we're back back to our balcony. I think we're just gonna lay around until dinner time. I'm looking forward to it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. We got dressed, it's tropical night, so I'm wearing my tropical shirt. We're having dinner in the main dining room. They have the tacos tonight, so that's the Asian style pork tacos. I wanna get the, the pesto tagliatelle, but it has mushrooms on it, so I don't know if I'll be allowed. I don't think you will. There's the piano that we saw the other day. Oh, and my parents are in it. <laughs> I think we saw that a couple days ago. Yeah. Did we tell them about it? I don't think so, but she... So they're going to think it's all brand new. Yeah, but she was playing Taylor Swift and... Um, I like her outfit today. Tonight in the dining room is Caribbean night, which makes sense because it's, you know, tropical shirt night, so... What are you getting? Makes sense. Um, the Asian style pork tacos, which is definitely a Caribbean dish. And the chicken korma, which is, again, very Caribbean dish. And you're gonna get their suggested oh, dessert, I too. I am gonna get the suggested dessert. I think for me, I'm finally gonna try my very first baked French onion soup. And you've never had that before ever in your life. I've never had it before ever, and I've become an onion connoisseur, so I think I'm really gonna like it. Um, and then, I, of course, I want my pesto tagliatelle without mushrooms, hopefully, and then the carrot cake. Okay, we're gonna do our dinner time question. We have another question from my mom, um, but normally we do it from the comments, so leave a comment. Um, but it's a special case, occasion because my parents are here, so, okay. So go ahead with your question. Okay, so should cruise lines bring back the midnight buffet? This is an interesting question because I am not sure I've ever seen a midnight buffet. I guess in my childhood, either Carnival didn't have one or my parents like made sure I was asleep before the midnight buffet started, so I never even saw it. 
So yeah. I think maybe this is a question for you. Yeah, new cruisers might not know what this is. I even think we have this on home video from when I was a kid. Oh. So if I can find that, I'll put it in here. All the tapes. But I think I especially remember it because it's on home video. But basically, obviously it was at midnight. It was basically more of an art show, an art display than an actual meal. And it was ice sculptures, um, chocolate sculptures and carvings, watermelon, like different, yeah. I have to hurry up because I have my tacos in here. But I think they should bring it back. I think they got rid of it because like, it was a waste of food almost and like just like excessive eating and a bad image but i think they should bring it back as like not really necessarily a meal have have maybe desserts that you could eat but not like a full-on meal with like steak and stuff but just reuse the same sculptures every week too like put the ice sculptures in the freezer and put the chocolate sculptures yeah, in the freezer yeah, yeah. too and then like, just so happen to have some dessert yeah. scattered through. And it's okay. just a dis art display event and then also desserts too and ice cream if you want. I think that's what they should do. I think that's smart and way to like recycle, reuse. Yeah. Carrie got her French onion soup and it's she got... It's very cheesy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't love cheese. And she got a Shirley Temple that's loaded with red dye number 40. So, so that's probably going to wreak havoc on your <laughs> bloodstream. Good. <laughs> and I got the famous Royal Caribbean Asian style bao bun tacos. Pork tacos. Okay. I found onions beneath all the <laughs> beneath okay. all the cheese. I wanna I wanna Okay, I'm scared. Capture your first French onion soup tasting on camera. Oh, hot. <laughs> I'm <really sorry. laughs> How do they wash this off by the way? They probably don't. They can't wash off that. Yeah, this is from the last guys. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> The, the melted on cheese, baked on cheese. It's yummy though. The French onion soup is That was so really good. good. The cheese on it, I did try the cheese even though I was scared of it. It was so good, it tastes like a pizza. <laughs> yeah, so what'd you get? Oh, you got yours. I was able to get my, my pasta with no mushrooms on it, so I'm very thankful for that. The thing you got looks so amazing. Yeah, this is um, the chicken korma, I think it's called. And look what comes with Yeah, it. and it came with this. But yeah, looks good. It does. How was your dinner? It was really good. Like, too good. Very good. Too good. Yeah. Okay, so you got your dessert, you got your carrot cake, which... Yeah. I need a little bit of vegetables in my dessert. And I got the sunshine... Pineapple... Sunshine pineapple cake. Yeah. He is oh my god. Glorious, beautiful elephant. It's weird coming home to a Gus home. It's weird coming back to a Gus that's like not on our bed. It is weird. Yeah, obviously this one's the elephant. No need to even debate. Yeah, we don't have to get out the book. After all that talk of sunscreen, my f like I still got burned. I feel the burn. Oh like it's just I don't know if this is going to show up, but this is what my skin used to be before today. And now, you know. That's what your skin is now. My pesto. Was, was it good? It was the pesto. <laughs> I can't, the joke is from Friends. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I made you laugh by using a pre-used joke. You're like a typical man. I know. We left Cozumel. But anyway, tomorrow's a day at sea. I'm really excited about that. There's so many more things on the ship that we haven't done yet, like the water slides. So I'm excited for tomorrow. The water slides are my number one priority. Yeah, me too. Coming up in our next video, we finally try the water slides during our day at sea.